this. And after Dr. Miri is done, um, I will invite um, the standing in to Sotero, who is also a brother in law to the late. And Nick's talking, please. Good evening, everybody. My name is Millicent, uh, like the late, and um, I do not have, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm a parent myself. This is difficult. I have known um, the Sotero uh, since um, many years ago, back in Kenya when I worked in Hema Hospital. And uh, to my surprise, when I came to Minnesota, uh, we were living in the same complex, so we just met and I'm like, ah, Napuju, and he said, ah, where's the doctor? So it's been a, an ongoing friendship, a close friendship. It, really, I do not have much words to say, but all I can say is that parents, uh, we need each other. Even us as parents, we suffer from a lot of things, family issues, financial issues, new cultural changes here. So even as parents, we need to seek help when we can, because a healthy parent means a healthy child. And children, I think we need to organize and be meeting with our children more frequently, so that we can find out ways that we can help each other. The other big thing that I'm a big supporter of is medication. Mental health is real, and I know with our culture, uh, we have this uh, stigma uh, you don't want to take medicine. So parents, we should be open-minded. Um, having depression, schizophrenia, whatever mental health problem you have, just means a chemical imbalance in your brain. It doesn't mean you're a demon. It just means God created you differently. There is help out here. There's a lot of help. So please, let's preach the help that we have. We can pray, take medication, and team up, up to, uh, with, with each other. Therapy is another big option as well. So with that, I leave that. Uh, may God give you guys peace. Jamani Mungu wa Fatia Mungu. We are still together. God knows. We don't have any answers. Let's not ask for answers. Maybe we will get those answers when we go to heaven one day. God bless you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Miri. Nick, please. And also, I want to give one minute to my elder Justin Yangau, one minute please. I want to thank everybody. First of all, my name is Nick. I am married to Veronica, Millie's sister, and I have known Millie for seven years now. I think it's important. I well, appreciate everyone who's come up with their heartfelt thoughts. It's important for someone who actually knew Millie very well to say just a few words. When people say that Millie was a genius or very smart, uh, I can tell you directly that that is not an exaggeration. She was incredibly smart. Um, she Obviously, was a 4.0 student, but uh, I'm a graduate student. I'm a lawyer. She used to call me, uh, text me, and ask questions about the law and other things. And I was always amazed by how intelligent she was, how questions. And so, when people say that Millie was smart, that's an understatement. Millie also, I, I should also say, there's been a lot of talk about depression. Millie had depression, but it was not induced by any alcohol. She's never had a drink in her life. It wasn't induced by any drug. She never touched a drug. What I noticed about Millie is that it was so obvious to me and to everybody else that she was beautiful. And I can tell you that she didn't think of herself like that. And it was so obvious to me and everybody else that she was so smart and she just didn't think of herself like that. And it was so obvious to me and everybody else that she was so loving and caring, and just such a great person. And I could just tell that she just didn't think of herself like that. And that's how her depression manifested itself. She just didn't see herself the way everybody else saw her. 
and for that, her family is totally distraught. They're not going to come up here and say anything, so I just want to say these words on her behalf. I love you, Millie. Rest in peace. Thank you. Can you now me get ready, please? Good evening, everyone. I also just want to take uh, this chance to pass my condolences to the family of Sotero and the Mano family. I have known uh, Sotero for quite some time. And I knew him quite way back, where through his brother Peter Kengere Mano was here. So when Sotero came, I met him in St. Louis Park, and the rest of the family. I met Emma and the other family members. Uh, Sotero has been my friend, He's been fixing my cars whenever I have an issue. Yeah, he had told me about his family, he was still in Kenya, in Nakuru. So recently we had met and he told me I moved to here in Pansville and I live in Savage. So he told me about his kids, how they're doing. So I never got a chance to meet Millie, but uh, I knew about her through the father. And I was in the house last night, we shared a lot. He told me about Millie, how she went to school. And um, we got to share with the rest of the family. So uh, it's so sad for what happened. We're just gonna, as uh, the pastor said, and the the Father is going to continue praying for her and to pray for ourselves. We may have some things going on in our community. So we're just going to open up and um, do what we can. Otherwise, I want to thank you all of you for coming, you for supporting her, the Sotero family, and many other things that have been out in the community. You're always available to support them. I would really appreciate Thank you, Chairman, and all the organizers for this, organizing for this and for, for the family. May God bless you all. And all of you, when you drive back home, you drive safe. Thank you so much. Chairman, one minute, please. Then Veronica get ready to read for us the eulogy. Uh, as Veronica is preparing to be here, I know some of us haven't had a chance to view the body. We'll have that chance, so please don't go. We'll have that chance. That's why we said ask them to open the casket so that we can view and pray before our sister Millicent. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for coming to be with us at this time of sorrow. Uh, for the Sotero family, I give you my heartfelt condolences. It's tough. I'm a parent myself. And bringing kids to this country, sometimes we get so excited that we are coming to the land of freedom. Freedom is not we think. It's not what we think when we're coming here. But uh, as parents, it's so difficult to get used to this culture here. Uh, sometimes at home we talk. We think they're hearing us, but there's so much inference. Social media is one of the difficult things that was brought to the world these days. Mr. Sotero, I don't know what to say. It's so painful. Things are key. My condolences are given to the siblings of Nelson. I give you my deepest condolences. It's hard to lose a sister. So thank you all again. And may God be with you all. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. After all, it's your chance, please. So once uh, Veronica is done with the eulogy, uh, we will give one person from this choir to represent the choir, and I've seen the bathroom here. 
who is in charge of the choir, patron please once the knowledge is done, then we'll give direction as we almost come to the conclusion of today. And again, um, a quick update is that um, as of today, as of now, a few minutes ago, we have managed to collect a total of 14,119. Our goal is 20,000. I want to thank you, everyone here, so much for the info we are putting. We are really close to the goal that we said. We have 14,000, I said, 119. And hopefully as we progress, it will be better. And again, another reminder, on Wednesday, that's when we shall have the final day here again. Please follow up as we update you in the walls accordingly so that we can be with this family and pray with them. Uh, we'll update everything on the wall, please, uh, so that you know. I think it will start at 11 o'clock to 1. Yes. Yes, from 11 o'clock to 1. So we should be here a little early. Then we can do our final respect for our, for, um, for Millicent. And again, as I'm always saying, Sotero, Mama Grace, your family, we are happy. We are finding the Ryan Wiley, the hellman in the house, while we are with it. Some people would say, don't talk about it. Veronica, welcome. for coming. Um, my name is Franca and really was my younger sister. We love her so much and thanks for coming to celebrate. Um, a final time. Uh, so Millicent Morale Renge, she was born in, on May 28, 2001 in Akuru, Kenya. And she was the fourth born of the six children. Um, in Kenya, she attended King's Academy from grade uh, 1 to 8 and then she joined East Moor Girls um, High School for form 1 and 2 and then they leave. She uh, relocated to um, Minnesota, uh, United States. And she attended St. Louis Park High School. She attended St. Louis Park uh, High School for the 10th and 12th grade. She graduated and she graduated high in her class. And after that, she joined Minneapolis Community College, where she majored in her biology. And she graduated with a 4.0 GPA. And later, with the 4.0 GPA, she was a student, uh, and she belonged in an honor society by Kappa Theta. And then she later joined Oxford University, where she was majoring in biochemistry. At this university, she was part of a summer research program, and she was part of a, she was a prison scholar. Among the many lab researches that she did, she had an opportunity to present her research at the University of Minnesota. She loved research so much that she was looking forward to this summer to continue with her research. Millie worked uh, with the nurse next door agency as a nursing assistant. She was always excited going to work and loved working with the elders and their dogs. She had started summer, she had started school and was in her first week uh, this semester when she met her dad. Millie enjoyed painting. As you can see over there, she enjoyed her paintings. She has many more paintings at home. And she enjoyed drawing, she played tennis, uh, she played chess, she enjoyed playing her violin, her violin is right here. Badminton, she was a great runner. She loved reading. The whole apartment was filled with books. Hiking, swimming, adventure, traveling, she explored uh, different types of food. She was beautiful, she was kind. She was smart, she was sensitive, she was compassionate, she was diligent. She was intuitive, she was imaginative, she was digital oriented. She was open-minded and she was caring. In her short time with us, Millie exemplified the qualities we all strive for, kindness, love, and unwavering optimism. She lives beyond a legacy of warmth and compassion that will, will forever be etched in our hearts. While her physical presence might not be no longer, while her physical presence 
may no longer grace our lives. Our spirit will live on through the countless memories we hold, we hold dear. Let us remember Millie, not with sorrow, but with gratitude for uh, the time we had with her. May her spirit guide us to embrace life with the same zest she possessed, to cherish our relationships, and to spread love and kindness wherever we go. Rest in peace, dear Millie. Your light forever shines with us. Thank you. Thank you, Veronica. Um, we are coming close to the end of our programs. I know some of you have just uh, texted me, people need to view the body. With humility on behalf of this choir, I'm asking Mr. Alex Maliki to come and say a word. And before then, I know we, we have a photo of hands from the family. And then we have them to view the body. The choir will be singing the song. Choir, thank you again so much for the patience. I know it's a lot. We've been having so many programs today. I really appreciate your patience with us. Please be really patient. And to our community members, we really appreciate your calmness. I know all of us would have had a chance to say something, but we really respect the way, the humility, the support, the prayers, the visits to the family, all that we have been doing to make sure this family is comforted. We are praying for you, the family, and we will continue praying with you. And again, may the good Lord give you strength. Our community, please, let's continue to stay strong and support each other when we need ourselves most. Patron. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. God is good. And all the time. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. Uh, I will be short of words, but then I'll say something to Mr. Sotero, Mama, and uh, the entire Sotero family, the extended family. We are also saddened, just like you are, to have this happen to our little girl. I, on behalf of my family, I'm Elizabeth, my sons and daughter, whom I told where I'm coming to and they extended their most heartfelt condolences. I wish to, and on behalf of the choir, we wish also to extend our most sincere condolences. We also want to wish the Lord, the good Lord, to have our little girl to rest in eternal peace. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alex. At this point, um, um, allow me to call Sotero to come and give us uh, a photo of thanks. And then thereafter, we'll have a prayer. The choir will be singing a song. We'll come and view the body if we haven't had a chance. And uh, we encourage you to continue supporting this family. I think as of now, we may be at around 14,500. We are short of like um, um, 5,500. So whenever you go, the friends you meet, please share with them the call. And please don't forget, we shall be having our final um, um, respect for Millicent and to support this family on Wednesday from 1, I mean from 11 a.m. to 1. Sort of please come. As Sota comes, I want to appreciate Sota and the family, Mama Grace. And we really appreciate. We are open. The healing begins now because you have accepted so that we talk about it. All of us can heal together.
give uh, vote of thanks. Uh, let me read on his behalf. I stand here today to thank you all for showing up for the viewing and fundraising event. I'm thanking my wife, kids, extended family for staying together and supporting each other. Secondly, I want to thank uh, the people who responded quickly to comfort my kids when I was away. Finally, thank you to the organizers, the committee, family, friends, community, um, for oh, Father Kenneth and everyone else for your prayers, generous contribution and support. Your thoughtfulness and the support is much appreciated by the entire family during this difficult time. Your kind words are of great comfort to us as we try to come to terms with our daughter's death. Thank you all and God bless you. Thank you again, Sotaro, and Grace. Thank you, thank you, Tarotika. Honorable Chair, especially Chair, and Uh, once again, to everyone, thank you. Thank you to the committee. At this point, uh, I will kindly ask each one of us to rise up. We say a final prayer. And then thereafter, we'll ask choir to have a song. And we'll have time to view the body. Uh, and then we can have time to socialize at our own pleasure. Now, I'm going to forget it to In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. We thank you, merciful Lord, wonderful Lord. You created all of us in your own image. You created Millicent Marao Lenge in your own image. You even knew Millicent before she was born. You knew this day before she even knew it. We surrender everything before you. We surrender even her soul before you. Dear Lord, you know us, as human beings, we are quick to charge, but today we ask you to forgive us, all of us today. May you see mass on us. May you bless our family, bless our youth, bless each one of us, and meet each one of us at the point of need. We thank you for the families we have. We thank you for our children. We thank you even for the family of Sotero Manua, Mama Grace, and the entire siblings of Millicent and even the large Mango family that is in Kenya. Dear Lord, we thank you for the blessing of the community, of our community here in Minnesota. We thank you, Lord, in a very, very special way for each one of us who has had time to pray with the family, to support them, to do everything possible to make them comfortable at this most tough moment. And even as we continue praying with this family, staying shoulder by shoulder with them, 
We ask for your mercy. We ask that heaven can come down and be with us. That your Holy Spirit may be in that home. That the angels that you give each one of us that can be in that home. That all can be well as your wish is. At this moment, Lord, we know the thief that was on the cross, the time when Jesus Christ, you were crucified with him. You took him to heaven. We place our prayers before you to ask you to forgive me and our sin so that she can receive eternal rest in heaven. It's humble prayer this evening, Lord, as we ask you to bless us as we go home. Help us each day as we come out, as we go back to work. As we work several jobs at, to make sure we meet the need of our families here and back home. Give us the strength, give us the resilience, give us good help. Above all, Lord, may love reign in our families. And Lord, we really remember to pray for our youth, touch their hearts. We are in the most toughest time, especially for our youth, and even all of us who have several issues in our homes. Lord, stay in our homes, be with us. And Lord, we thank you that you gave us an opportunity to come to this country. Continue to be with us, and we know that you never leave us, even at the point, at the toughest point. We surrender everything before you, and asking you to bless this family, to bless this congregation, and may your will be done. I know there are many we may be able to talk about. There are many prayers that we have in our hearts. Please, Lord, meet each one of us at the point of need. We know there's a lot that we need to put before you. Hear our prayers and ask everything as your will is. And it's Jesus' name we trust and pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We can be seated, please. Choir, please. Can we have some song? And uh, don't fear, please come and view the body, pray. And I'm so happy many of you understand we come, pray before the body, view the body, pray. It's a very, very good thing to do. Dr. Mali, again, we really appreciate how wonderful it is. We are doing it here, and you can just see it on your phone. Please come. Please come and uh, view the body. Thank you for your patience. I know we have been really very, very patient. On Wednesday, please be here from 11 to 1. Thank you for coming. Yeah, you can say hi to family. Thank you, our community, each one of us. We really appreciate all that you are doing.
so much choir, you can have a chance to build the body. And to everyone who met today, we are really very grateful. And again, thank you, thank you so much for having time with this family. With the community again, we really appreciate. And with the family, we appreciate for you giving us a chance to talk about it.